Hi grade sevens, I hope you've had a wonderful weekend and are ready for a new, work of, uh, a new week of e-learning. In last week's lessons we started going through um, equations and expressions. Today we'll be finishing that topic. We'll be going through tables and that's on page 107. So it says, when we complete a table we need to use the equation provided for use and then substitute in the given variable. So basically what that means is, we will always, when we get these type of questions, we will be given our equation and then we'll be given some values, in this case it's the x values, we need to work out the y values. Now it's a very easy method of doing this, basically all we need to do is wherever we see an x in the equation, we're gonna um, substitute in these digits and then we work out the answers. Okay, so the first one. Our formula that's given to us is y equals x minus 17. So whatever the value of x is, all we're going to do is subtract 17 from it. So we can have a look at the first one. So the first one, my x value is 65. So what that basically means is, we are going to substitute in the value 65 so what you can do, you can say for value 1, okay? So it's y is equal to my x value is 65 minus 17. All we did was replace the x with that value. And 65 minus 17, you can work out. So 65 minus 10 is 55, minus 7 is then 48. So my first number, the y value in the table is 48. Then we can do the second one, and our x value is 55. So it's y equals 55 minus 17. So 55 minus 10 is 45. Then we subtract 7, and that is 38. So my next value is 38. Then you do the same for all of them. So the third one... My x value is 45, so it will be then 45 minus 17. 45 minus 10 is 35, minus 7 is 28. Okay, so the next one is 28. Then the next one, same thing, we substitute in x, which is 35 minus 17. 35 minus 25, oh, sorry, 35 minus 10 is 25. Minus 7 is 18. And then the last one, I'm just going to do it over here. We've got y equals 25 minus 17. So 25 minus 10 is 15. 15 minus 7 is then 8. So there are my missing numbers in the table. So all I did was substitute in the x values wherever I see an x in the formula and then I get my y value. Now the second one works exactly the same. The formula given to us is y equals 8x. Now 8x means 8 times x. So whatever the value of the x is, you're just gonna times it by eight. So the first one, y equals eight times, and my x value is one. So eight times one is just eight. Then the second one, same formula, y equals 8x, but now x is equal to 2. So 8 times 2 is 16. Then my third one, y equals 8 times 3. 8 times 3 is 24. And you're going to keep doing the same thing. Then we go to the fourth one. Now my x value is 10. So it's 8 times 10, which is... 80. All right, and the last one, y equals 8 times 27. Now, if it's a bit difficult to work out in your head, you're welcome to do a little sum on the side. So I'm going to quickly work out over here. So 8 times 7 is 56. So we write down the unit, we carry the 10. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 5 is 21. So my answer is 216, and that is the final answer in the table. So when you get given a question like this, all you need to do is substitute in the values that are given into the given equation, and then you work out for the unknown. 
So this brings us to the end of the topic. Please keep an eye out. There will be a knowledge test posted in the next day or two. Please make sure that is submitted on Seesaw. This is the third knowledge test. So you should have all submitted three tests by the end of this week.